Gossip in the garden, gossip in the garden, gossip in the garden. Welcome to another edition of Gossip in the Garden. I'm here with Kevin Barry Moore to his friends and uh, close family members. Um, to the world and to musicians like myself, um, I would have to say one of the best singer-songwriters that I have ever heard, probably in the top five. Fair play to uh, I have to say that. Um, we're here with Luca Bloom. Luca, thank you very much for uh, it's good sitting to in. Uh, it's great Thanks. to have you. Great thank to have you, you on Gospel in the Garden. Um, how did you start? How did this all start? Wow. You started, you have a musical family, I believe. Yeah, right? yeah. Christy would have come home from... Uh, being out in the oil rigs and doing the folk clubs in England in the late 60s when I was still in short trousers and uh, I can remember at the age of nine holding my first guitar I can, and uh, I can remember how I felt, I remember feeling very happy and then by the time I was 13 or 14 I started writing songs and I've basically been writing songs since about 1972. Mm, 72? Yeah, which is almost 40 years. Have you feel it? No. No, they're all... No, 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 my mother used to say I have no favourites amongst my children. Them all, and, uh, <laughs> You're one of six? Yeah, one of six. I'm yeah. one of Christie's the eldest. Oh, yeah. 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 Riverside was uh, a huge album. Riverside was a big turning point in my life. Um, living in New York, having been struggling for many years, and, you know, hooking up with Warner Brothers in 1989. Right. Releasing Riverside in 1990, Riverside like opened up audiences for me literally all over the world. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I mean, I tour Australia, Holland, Belgium, Switzerland, Germany, and America now, and the UK and Ireland. And it's all on the back of what started in that time. Right. So when was the first time you knew that the album was a success? About six weeks after it came out. Is that right? I was getting phone calls from all over the world. You know, mm. getting played off the air in Holland and back in Australia. Right. Just it, it was a roller coaster for about five years. Right. Mm. What was the biggest song on uh, Riverside? But Delirious. You thought Delirious. Delirious yeah. That was the opening track. Yeah, Delirious was the biggest. Delirious was the first song that most people heard of me. Really. Right. Um, Delirious. You couldn't have come a better time. The man is alive. Gone to Pablo. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic album. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um. I'm not going to hold Luca Bloom up because I know he's a very busy man and he's going to he's has to go out and sign more autographs and to a packed house in uh, New York uh, Art Center here in Long Island City and once again I'm one of his biggest fans and it's a dream come true for me to oh. uh, to get an interview with Luca Bloom. Luca Bloom, thank you so Dominic, much. Dominic, great pleasure to meet you. Respect to you for your work. Respect to you for your station. I really wish you the very best of luck on all you. Thank do. you very much, Luca. Just chewing up Rudy here for a second. A couple of months ago, I got a very intense summertime haircut. Sort of a, mar a love marine type haircut. And people said to me that with a haircut as intensely short as that, considering I was an Irish singer, I should consider learning a Prince song. Here goes. <laughs> Of you and I locked in a kiss The sweat of your body covers me Can you, my darling, can you picture this Dream of a courtyard An ocean of violets in bloom Animals strike curious poses They feel the heat between me and you Why did you leave me standing Alone in a world so cold Just like my father, too bold, maybe you're just like my mother. She's never satisfied. Why do we scream at each other? This is what it sounds like when doves cry. Touch if you will my stomach. Feel how it trembles inside. You got the butterflies all tied up Don't make me chase you Even doves have pride Why leave me standing Alone in a world so cold Maybe I'm just too demanding Maybe I'm just like my father Too bold Maybe you're just like my mother 
she's never satisfied Why do we scream at each other? This is what it sounds like when doves cry Why did you leave me standing? Like my father, you know, maybe you just like my mother. She's never satisfied. Why do we scream at each other? This is what it sounds like when doves cry.